from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big morning with incredible great news about your Force to Most Track update of 2022 and the latest details of what's going on with some other stimulus checks. Boy, we got a big recording today. We have a big concern with gasoline we never saw coming. It could be a big trouble and it could be just days away. It's a shocker and it just happened minutes ago. Well, the latest details. A recession is underway with this U.S. economy and that recession is getting a major announcement this Wednesday. And what is that announcement? It is the Consumer Price Index number. The CPI number released Wednesday is now as a projection to beat. A beat? Yes, that means that inflation may not have peaked. Not a good sign and not a good signal. That's why you have to get a force to most check that is in every U.S. state. And these incredible checks in every U.S. state are nearly $100,000. Viewers have been getting this, these checks since the month of March. They are federal stimulus from the federal government, executive action, not from Congress, not from your states. I'm going to show you later in the recording how to get these incredible checks. You qualify, single individual, $75,000 less, married couple, and if you're on benefits, SSI and SSDI, stay in the second half and get ready to get those forced to much checks in every U.S. state. How do you do it? You go into this video, become a member. Become a member, join this channel, and get the membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time that delivers you the information about these incredible forced to much checks in every U.S. state. But the problem today is that CPI number being released on Wednesday may be a beat. And if inflation's not peaked, what does it mean for this economy? What does it mean for your benefits? Because guess what? Your benefits could be going up a lot more if inflation has not peaked. We'll be looking at the latest details in today's recording. Plus, we'll be looking at what happened with those recessionary worries on Friday when the June's jobs number was a major beat. Confusing? Yeah, I'll explain it through you in today's recording. And then we'll go over what's projected for later this week with corporate earnings, the PPI, and the Federal Reserve. The toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, the cough is brewing. It's a brand new week with a lot of major breaking developing details. And the deliciousness starts right now on Mornings Alalite Live. And good morning, everybody. <laughs> the toast is toast and the butter is butter and, and the cough is ruined, but the bacon is here. The force to most check is in every U.S. state because the President of the United States did it by executive action. And later in this recording, we're going to go over this incredible sums of money. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. The link to become a member is under the video where it says join the channel. And stay in the second half as we go over these huge sums of money. But today we start with the breaking news is the CPI. The CPI, inflation, is likely to beat on Wednesday. What? How can the CPI be beating when inflation's not supposed to be peaking? When inflation is supposed to be coming back down, I'll have the latest details, and it all starts right now. Good morning. Hope you have a beautiful day in a big week. This is a huge week of breaking news. The CPI is the Consumer Price Index number, and it signals where this economy is going. It is a number used for inflation. Now, let's recap. There's a lot of different benchmarks. The Federal Reserve, the government, you Americans can use to gauge where inflation is. But in the last few months, the CPI has really become the fan favorite. The Federal Reserve generally had used another benchmark in previous months, like the core personal consumption number, but the CPI was the number the Federal Reserve used last month. The number for the CPI is also the benchmark the American consumer, the mom and pops, you and I use as well. This number is on Wednesday. What will that number be? It will be for the month of June, the prior month. And what is the number expected to do? It's expected to be a beat. <gasps> a beat, yes, is expected to go higher than the month of May. <laughs> I can't even say with a straight face. I tried. I tried to say with a straight face. j Powell does not get it right. The May G CPI number was 8.6%. It's expected to go higher. 
J, 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 J Powell thinks he's going to reduce inflation by raising interest rates. Well, he's not going to get it done. The data going into the Wednesday's number announcement is that Wall Street is expecting the number to be a beat. Investors are looking to this key data coming in on Wednesday, and they're expecting to be higher than the May level of 8.6%, and that is not going to be a surprise to you and I. Why? Back no less than two weeks ago, I had the core personal consumption number on this channel, and that has a headline inflation number in there. And what did that number show? It showed for the month of April, it was 6.6%, May, 6.3%, June, 6.3%. <laughs> Jay, you ain't getting anything done. Jay Powell, head of the Federal Reserve, what his narrative is that he's going to raise interest rates to reduce inflation. Well, guess what? It ain't working. I told you it ain't going to work. He has done a three quarters, a half and a quarter basis point increase for uh, those interest rates in three FOMC meetings, and he has not gotten inflation down. Imagine what's going to happen on Wednesday. Imagine what's going to happen on Wednesday. If inflation has not peaked and is still going up in the month of July, crazy. It's crazy. Now, one of the words I don't say on this channel that often, I mean, there's a lot of words I don't say on this channel that often, like bacon. Um, <laughs> one of the words I don't say on this channel that often is the word stagflation. And folks, stagflation is not a word I want to say because it's a scary word. A staggy, scary word. What is stagflation? Stagflation is exactly what it sounds like the word is. It is a combination of inflation plus recession at the same time. And if Jay Powell continues to knock inflation down and send you in a recession, he's giving you stagflation. He's giving you a recession plus inflation. Scary? Yeah, we're just getting started. <laughs> Just, I'm sorry to scare you so early in the morning. Have you had a cup of cup, other cup of coffee, uh, other cup of coffee? Get that second uh, cappuccino espresso shot ready because you're going to need it for this video. Uh, what's going to happen on Thursday? On Thursday, the PPI number is going to be released. That is expected to be high as well. Meantime, we have corporate earnings coming out this week. Tuesday is going to be PepsiCo. Wednesday is Delta Airlines. Thursday and Friday, the banks. JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley on Thursday, Friday, as well as in Citibank, uh, Citigroup. But here's what you need to know. If that CPI number on Wednesday is higher than the May number of 8.6%, everyone and their sister and their brother is going to be at odds with Jay Powell because he has done all these interest rate spikes. He's saying you're in a session, and he has actually not done anything to inflation. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you are a longtime viewer, welcome back. This is Ally, the number three most watched financial news channel in America, heading to number two. And the reason why we're doing really well is because my projections are always on the money. Last spring, last year, I said that inflation is going to come in at 8% and not be temporary. It's going to be around a while. At the time, Jay Powell and Wall Street said 3% and transitory temporary. They got it really wrong. They got it really wrong. Now, can you imagine that the inflation I projected last year and they got wrong is still around in the month of July and it's potentially higher in the month of June, which is Wednesday's number, than the month of May, that it has still not peaked? Folks, now, there is one glimmering item of this that's good for you, and that is if you're on benefits. If you're on SSI and SSDI, this could be great news for you if inflation is actually still up in July. I'll be going over that later in this recording. It's a different part of this of this recording. It's later. Your benefit's going up if you're SSI and SSDI. And SSDI. Stay the very end. Meantime, do you want some more stimulus checks? Well, someone introduced a new bill today for more stimulus checks. I'm not kidding you. Do you want, what was it? Uh, $4,600. $4,600 of additional stimulus checks. A congressional senator introduced the legislation a minute ago. Uh, is it laying in the corner? Why? Yes, because it's... Uh... <laughs> You can file it under fiction novels. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. And guess who introduced it? A Republican. What? Yeah, it's Monday. <laughs> Did you have that a second shot of coffee? You're going to need it for later this recording. This is why you need to get these four stimulus checks that are in every U.S. state today. These checks have been around since the month of March. 
If this inflation is not peaking, imagine how bad this economy is going to be in just a short period of time. You need to get those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Go right on this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Count Sino VIP. Then stay the second half as we go over these incredible checks across the land. Let's go over a preview of them right now. First, they're from the president. They're executive action. They're not from your state. They're not from Congress. There's no vote needed. Your state's not helping good. It's not from your state. <laughs> it's not coming from your state. So if you don't like your state, I don't like your state either. Uh, then it's not coming from your state. You don't have to worry. It's coming from the federal government. It's approximately $100,000. And it's huge. Single individual, $75,000 less. Go get them. Married couple, if you make $150,000 less, go get them. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, SSI or SSDI, go get them. And yes, they're a lot of money. They're coming up later in this recording. Now, could anything be worse than that CPI read of Wednesday? Well, yeah, it's the news that you're in a recession. Did you not know that? Back in February, I projected that this economy would go into recession, and everyone thought I was crazy when I said it at the time. I was the only financial analyst on TV that said it was happening. Well, guess what happened? We are in recession. The data was released two Fridays ago. But let's go over what happened in the last few days, because this is a major shocker. This economy is already in a recession, but the hurt, the pain of the recession is not going to be felt until next year. Let's go over what happened. A recession is defined as two negative quarters of GDP growth of the economy, a quarter three months. The first three months of this year were negative GDP growth. Wing, bam, a, a whammo, <laughs> negative 1.6%. The second quarter has not been officially announced. That official announcement is July 28th from the Department of Labor. But two Fridays ago, a division of the Atlanta Federal Reserve has a tracking tool, and its tracking tool was released right after we ended the month of June. And its tracking tool, which has a 20-year 20, 20 track record, of 100% accuracy reported the second quarter also was negative GDP growth, negative 1%. There you go. With that, we officially fell into a session June 30th. Now, when that announcement came out, I immediately had it on camera and on all that weekend long, which was the 4th of July weekend, I said, you have to assume we're in a recession. But I, I got to see what Wall Street's going to do to this. <laughs> what is Wall Street going to do to this? The, mon the Tuesday... After the 4th of July weekend, we resumed trading activity on Wall Street. And guess what Wall Street did? They traded down dramatically. Stocks fell 500 points. Bonds surged out of control higher. And, and also gasoline fell. With the desire by the market to embed the risk into the market that we are in a recession. But it got really crazy last Friday. Did you see what happened last Friday? That was weird. Last Friday, the June jobs number was released. It's a number that shows how many non-farm payroll jobs are created in the month of June. It was a beat. It was better than expected, a lot better than expected. They were expecting 250,000 jobs to be created, came in at 375,000. That's a beat. And it showed that a lot jo more jobs were created than expected. Now, it's down for the month of May, but it was a major beat. Immediately, some analysts are out saying, good times are here to roll. Recession is not going to happen, and we are on a great economy. Go buy some stocks. Go buy some real estate. Go buy some crypto. Ridiculousness. I thought it was just one of the most ridiculous days I've seen for financial reporting in a long time. I said, I hope it doesn't pervase. It doesn't become pervasive. Good news is that this is the first day since that announcement, and it has not been pervasive. That nonsense is gone from last Friday. It's absolutely gone. The Dow is down about 100 points right at the moment. Uh, the Nasdaq is down 2%. 2% today on recessionary fears. So all that ridiculousness from Friday is gone. Why is the story about the story even more important? I report you the news and where the economy is going. I give you the projections. I give you the stimulus. But I also tell you the story behind the story. Every Thursday morning on this channel, on this show, I deliver you the June jobs number. The June unemployment numbers. <laughs> the new unemployment numbers. Let's say that again. The new unemployment numbers. And... In the last two weeks, it's been really hard to find the number. What's going on here? Broadcast News is burying the number. They're not headlining the story. 
So it's very hard to find the number. Why? It's a bad number. The number of unemployment claims in the United States economy has grown dramatically. And I say it's, this is the very much the indicator of what's going on with this recession. We've grown from about 180,000 uh, in several months ago to now 200, 230, 235, and we're not going down. We've gone 35,000. Again, I've been projecting this number is right. I've been saying 230 for four weeks, and it's now 235. These are new unemployment claims, so this is a concern. As unemployment continues to spiral out of control, what else could be worse? Uh, did you have that cup, of, second cup of coffee yet? <laughs> okay. I've hit you with the CPI. I've hit you with uh, labor. I'm now going to hit you with no gasoline. <gasps> Wait a second, LLA. This is too much for a morning broadcast. Uh, this is <laughs> this is why you have to have bacon. You have to you have to be you have to have enough of that um, that fried foods in your system to digest all this horrific news. Here you go. One of the countries that we are symbiotic in economic relationships with, Germany, may have no gasoline. <gasps> just, just breathe. <laughs> just breathe. I know. It's a lot to digest in an early morning broadcast. But here you go. The shocker of a news story is coming out just minutes ago. This is breaking news for this morning's broadcast. Germany is uh, provided gasoline through a pipe, an actual pipe, that I featured on this channel for many, many months. That pipe is called Nord Stream 1. It's a physical pipe that runs from Russia, yeah, that's where we're going with the story, Russia to Germany. That pipe is being turned off right now at the time of this recording, the time of this live broadcast, through July 21st for maintenance. Everyone uh, with, your, um, with your face right now, do this. Maintenance. Yeah, so it's being turned off for maintenance between now and July 21. They've known about this for a while. The operator Nord Stream 1 has turned it off for the now July 21. The concern by Germany in new quotes minutes ago is that once the maintenance is done by July 21, it may not be turned back on by Russia. Germany is very worried that Russia is not going to turn the pipe back on after July 21 and that Germany have no oil. Imagine one of the countries that is so symbiotic to our relationship may have no gasoline on July 21. <laughs> How's your morning going so far? Is it going really well? Yeah, we're just getting started. Thank goodness we're getting some force so much to in this recording. I mean, imagine... <laughs> Imagine you start the morning and say, hey, you have some symbol structure? Yeah, I do have some symbol structure for you. Oh, and by the way, inflation is going to be out of control by Wednesday. And by the way, by Thursday, uh, the gasoline is going to be turned off in Germany. <laughs> you got to get these four symbol checks, folks. You got to get these four symbol checks. Do you not see how scary this is going to get? Let me go with the story on the, German, on, the, on the oil being turned off. Oil is being turned off, confirmed, because of maintenance between now and July 21. But Klaus Mueller who's the head of Germany's agony regulator, believes the Kremlin would not turn back the, the pipe on July 21. We cannot rule out the possibility that gas transport will not resume after the scheduled maintenance for political reasons, says him in a new quote minutes ago. The EU receives 40% of the gasoline through the Russian pipelines, and the derailing of this could absolutely send people in a tailspin in Germany as they go into the winter months. Folks, this is no bueno. Wall Street likes to know their risks. Wall Street likes to embed risks into the market by trading down stocks and trading up bonds. They like to trade down if there's a recessionary risk, trade down if there's an inflationary risk, but no gasoline? That's not a risk that Wall Street has embedded into the markets. I got to tell you right now, they have not embedded the risk into the markets that there's no gasoline for the, the Germans, which is a symbiotic relationship to our economy. Imagine what could happen on July 22nd. Imagine what, what wait, wait, wait a second. I just remembered. You know what July 21st is? July 21st is when the Department of Labor announces whether we are now in a recession. Well, that is a beautiful 24 hours, isn't it? Yeah, imagine how many risks are happening in just a few days. Now, let's go back to our illustrious a partner in crime, Jay Powell. Jay Powell uh, is having that FOMC meeting in a few days from now when they're going to raise interest rates 75 basis points at the July FOMC meeting. That's easy. 
But then the Federal Reserve is gone in the month of August. They don't have a meeting. <laughs> yeah, you see where I'm going with this? Imagine the gasoline is turned off in July. There's no FOMC meeting in the month of July. Gasoline, yeah, you know what graph I'm about to pull up. You knew exactly what graph I'm about to pull up. The graphic that basically says a recession will happen if the gasoline prices continue to go up. Well, guess what happens? If the gasoline prices continue to go up because Nord Stream is turned off and not turned back on, then imagine what's going to happen on July 22nd. Gasoline will go through the roof if Nord Stream 1 is not turned on. The CPI for that month, this inflation for that month, will be even higher than we're dealing with this Wednesday. And then the Federal Reserve, they're gone. <laughs> they're gone. And they're going to be really upset that they do not have an August meeting if this gasoline potential catastrophe happens. They're not back to September. And guess what September is? Bingo. Ding, 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 ding. Your financial cliff. Now, folks, look at that graphic. September is your financial cliff. Look at that graphic. You've seen that graphic. It's been on this channel for about a month. That financial cliff was never supposed to involve inflation not peaking. That financial cliff was never supposed to involve gasoline turned off from Nord Street 1. This is breaking news. Do you see what's going on? Everything is hitting exactly when the financial cliff is expected to hit. Does Russia know what it's doing? It really knows what it's doing. Is Russia doing this on purpose? You decide. You decide. What I got to tell you is that this looks eerily similar to something featured on this channel back in the month of March. Do you remember what happened in the month of March? Bitcoin was down. And the Chinese government came in exactly when Bitcoin was very unstable because it was down. And hit Bitcoin really hard and crashed crypto. Not once, not twice, but three times. On the crypto channel, show on this channel at the time, I reported how the Chinese government understood that Bitcoin was unstable at the time and hit really badly. Do you think Vladimir Putin is hitting really hard at that July situation when they see an instability of the situation? Well, you don't have to have a determinate answer. I want you to think to yourself about it. You can say yes or no in live chat if you want right now. But here's what you got to say is that you cannot wait for a force to must check to come from Bill Back Better Act. You need to get it right now. You need to go right on this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Pile, Casino, VIP. Get these incredible sums of money right now because this financial cliff is just days away. And now it may be a lot more serious than we ever thought. A lot more serious. That's why you got to get these big checks across the land. Now, someone else has another check for you. I think we need another. I think we need a laugh after all that. I mean, I don't think coffee can solve all that horrific, scary financial news in just what has it been? Only twenty minutes. Here is a nice laugh. Someone wants to give you forty six hundred dollars of stimulus checks. Why is that laughable, LA? Because it's not going to happen. Guess who it's from? Mitt Romney. <laughs> Here we go. That's the laugh. We've been with this channel for a long time. It's the running gag of the expression I call the Romney plan. There's a Romney plan for everything. I mean, there's not a Romney plan for Nord Stream 1 being turned off, but there's a Romney plan for everything. Romney continually writes these plans for things, passes them in, and goes to have lunch, and we never hear ever about them again. So I'm certainly not going to tell you that you're getting $4,600, but let me tell you what it is. The child tax credit. What? <laughs> yes, Mitt Romney wants to make the CTC permanent in a brand new uh, bill he's introduced today, a new Romney plan. Uh, there'll be a, another Romney plan by lunch or something else. <laughs> but uh, he wants to pay you for that child, 16 years or younger, lifetime benefits. And this is more than the original CTC of the third stimulus. It's more than the CTC of the Bill Back Better, which is thirty six hundred. He wants to pay you forty six hundred approximately. I think it was even forty eight hundred dollars. Uh, it's just so kind of him, and it's a Republican. Uh, but ever gonna happen? <laughs> you see my laugh. Never gonna happen. It's about gonna. Ma it's likelihood to happen is is as much as Jay Powell's getting inflation down to two percent later this year. It's never gonna happen. Uh, no Republicans are ever going to give you $4,600 every year, lifetime. I just, you know. 
that's like Steve Bannon's going to make you a, a, a pinata and serve you a beautiful a potpourri of lobster shorts. That's never going to happen as well. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. But it's, it's very kind that he did this. Why did he do this? Maybe he wants to run for president uh, and show how he's writing lots of plans. <laughs> Uh, what, what is his plan for lunch? He, he's writing a plan for lunch. <laughs> the Romney plan for lunch. And there'll be a plan for dinner as well. There'll be a Romney plan for everything. It's just, it's just, just, so, it's just so nice. I wish you would have a Romney plan for uh, Nord Stream 1 not being turned off and a Romney plan for CPI not coming in as a beat on Wednesday. In the second half of this video, we got some deliciousness for you. We are going to go over those four similar chunks in every U.S. state. $100,000, uh, and you qualify. Then we'll be turning to a fascinating story. Is your benefits, excuse me, are your benefits going to go up if that CPI on Wednesday is a beat? Yeah, you remember how this works. If your benefits are tied to the CPI and the CPI is a beat on Wednesday, then are your benefits going higher? Well, one very, very smart and kind viewer sent me that question just 20 minutes ago. I love that when my viewers like you listen, learn, and want to earn. That viewer understood that her benefits may go higher. And she asked, there's a new article out, she said, LA, that says the benefits may go up 10%. Is there a likelihood? Well, that was before the Nord Stream 1 story about gasoline. I said it depends on that CPI number on Wednesday. But now, it may depend on Nord Stream 1. You see how this is all coming back ground together? We'll have all these details in the big second half. Plus, we'll be going over what's also expected for the rest of this week. It's a big week. We're just getting started. But first, you know what you got to do. Go under this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Join the channel. Then, stay to the second half as we go over these incredible checks across the land. Join the channel, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. I'll see you back in 60 seconds. As Morning's Ally continues live on air. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues on a beautiful morning's morning's LA live on air from the shores of Santa Monica this morning. Hope you have a beautiful day. Did you become a member during the commercial break? I hope you did. I saw one person did. Welcome that new member. Few full room of live chatters in there. I see Anna, Lorraine, and William. Hope you all are having a beautiful morning. Become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Get that incredible membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. And we're going to go over all those incredible checks starting right now. Boy, what a beautiful day it is. Hopefully this cool weather stays here in Los Angeles. What you need to know is 
you want to become a member on this video, subscribe to this channel, Ally 1, and get ready for Ally 2 and Ally 3. They're two brand new channels coming to this channel. And there are links in this video to subscribe to them as well with new programming rolling out shortly. In fact, they have a debut, uh, a welcome new video going up, I think in about 15 minutes from now. So make sure you jump over there as well. These four similar checks in every U.S. state are huge. Back in the month of March, viewers said, L.A., can you find us some checks? I've been getting people a lot of money, $50 million since this channel launched on April 25th of 2020. And they said, you know, the Build Back Better Act hasn't gotten done. It's March. Find us some checks. And I did. And where did I find them? From Joseph Biden. These are executive order checks from the President of the United States. And while I say they're in every U.S. state, that doesn't mean they're coming from your state. They're not coming from your state. My governor doesn't like me. Uh, my, gov my state doesn't help. Well, don't worry. They're not sending you the money. It's from the federal government. Let's go over the eligibility. Longtime viewer Kat says you do really well with eligibility, L.A. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less annual income, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you have children, if you don't have children, if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits and more, go get these huge checks. Number two, they're big checks. You need big checks. About $100,000. You need big checks because you have financial cliff coming around. You need big checks because you have two years of recession coming around. You need these big checks. Number three, it's a new year. It's a new beat it's a new groove you got to do something different don't think about what happened in 2020 or 2021 this is the way stimulus is paid right now and finally longtime viewer carol says you make it so easy la you put it right in the newsletter you deliver it simple and formulated for viewers all they have to do is pounce so let's go over each of these incredible checks starting right now with check a I give it a lettering system on this channel, and the first check is check A. It is a $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you're on benefits, SSI or SSDI, how do you get it? Step one, go under this video, subscribe. Go under this video, join the channel. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Then get that incredible membership newsletter. Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the member alerts and go down to find check A. Click the link and you go into the nationwide website. Choose your state and then pounce. You pounce on that homeowner's weatherizing grant check. And boy, it's a lot of money. Let's go get check B. It's fifteen to $80,000. Four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less. Go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less. Go get it. If you rent, if you, if, excuse me, if you're on benefits, SSI or SSDI, go get it. How do you get this check? You know the routine. <laughs> Subscribe. Step two, become a member. Join the channel under the video where it says join the channel. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP member. Then look for that membership newsletter. Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And go down to find check B. It has a link. You go into the Nationwide website. You choose your state. And you pounce. Running times are about one week. Look how well you've done so far. Just two minutes there. We're over one hundred thousand already. Check A about twelve thousand dollars. Check B about eighty thousand dollars. And look at how well we've done. Well, we got to check A and check B. We're now going to go get some check C. Check C is a two thousand dollar monthly stimulus check over twelve months on average. But many viewers have gotten over forty five thousand. A lot have gotten nearly a hundred and fifty thousand. How do you get this wonderful check? You know the routine. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, go into the membership newsletter to find check C. It tells you where to call, who to call, and what to say. Now, check C is likely to be one of the most important checks of 2022. Why? Eviction moratorium, gone. Go get some checks for rent. Mortgage forbearance, gone. Go get some checks for mortgage assistance. Can they turn off your utility service? Now they can. Go get some checks for utility service. And viewers have been getting these checks since the earliest days of this channel. Let's look at their success stories, which can be your success stories as well. And their success stories are just incredible. Viewers have been getting big sums of money, and you deserve it as well. Here's Nisi, all the way up to Elizabeth, 20000 up to 27000 Do you want $27,000 for rent? Go get check C's. Do you want $7,000 for utilities like Nancy? Go get check C's. Mark's brother-in-law got $15,000 from this channel. Do you want these sums of money? Well, Mark's brother-in-law is getting $25,000 a year over 10 years, a quarter million dollars. Combinations, my goodness. Nisi 
has gone from 23,000 to 50,000 by getting a combination check. She keeps on going back and getting checks on a regular basis. And Mark has gone from 32,000 to 50,000. Then from 50,000 to $166,000. Here he is at 50, then he got 100, then he went to 166 by continuing to get checks and he got check B. I think Lorraine is in the live chat and look at Lorraine. She was at 105, now she's at more money across the board. Here's what you need to remember is you need to get these big sums of money. You need to get them right now. Step one, go into this video, subscribe. Also subscribe to LA2 and LA3. The reason why this channel has worked is because the financial news projections have been on point, very much ahead of the point, ahead of the curve, very accurate when Wall Street's been sending out false negatives or false information for nearly two years. They got inflation wrong, they got recession wrong, and that is why you need to know what's happening with the news on a regular basis accurately. Number two, I've been getting people big money. And so you need more of that. And that's why there's two new channels coming, this, coming to this family, LA2 and LA3. Subscribe to them as well. Next, go under this video where there's a button called Join. Join this channel as a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP, hit that button. Number three, look there for that membership newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. Now, it's 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you're not on the West Coast, adjust accordingly. Next, make sure your phone is signed into YouTube and remain signed in. Some people's phones are signing them out. It won't recognize you as a member if it signs you out. And number three, go to the front of this channel and look for that bell. That bell so it's set to all notifications. Hit it so it's all set to all notifications. You'll get an alert at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time that says new LA post. Go down on the alert so it says click here to go to the post, and there you go. That is the wonderful membership newsletter. Meantime, the membership newsletter also now features the worksheets. And did you pull out your worksheet today? I hope you did during this video. If you didn't pull it out after you're done, go to the page with gasoline. That's six stimulus. It's about the sixth page of the worksheets. And take notes about what you learned about Nord Stream 1 today and that July 21st date. you got to keep track of the dates. It's, it's a lot of dates to keep track of, and that's why the worksheets. What are the worksheets? They are free ben ben benefit for members. You open the membership newsletter, and about the third line, it says LA Worksheets. You click it, and it opens it as a beautiful PDF. It's about six pages, seven pages long. If you have a printer, send it to the printer and print it out. If you don't have a printer, just look at it and take notes on a separate piece of paper. One of the greatest pages of the worksheets that viewers really like is the second page, which has a table. All this is just LA created. You're not going to see this anywhere else. It's all proprietary just to this channel. That's why this channel cares. It's a table I created that has you keep track of your stimulus. Table about the day you applied, what months you got paid, how much you got paid, who's the contact, content, contact. It's important. Why? Because what you're going to do is what Nisi and Lorraine and Margaret and Johnny have done and what I teach on this channel. You get money now, and then you keep on getting money. Another three months here, another two months there, another $800 here. You keep track of all those incredible sums of money. Meantime, we have a lot going on in this month, a lot going on in this week. We have Jay Powell with that FOMC meeting coming next week. He's going to do three quarters basis point. We have the White House that's been running the happy train with the June's jobs number last Friday. But, you know, it's just a half story because the half story is that the number of unemployment claims are not good. Then we have the corporate earnings, as you saw leading into this video, coming in this week. We're going to watch Q2. This is the second quarter of this year. We haven't had a lot of Q2 corporate earnings. This is a start. We're going to have some retail uh, companies coming in with PepsiCo to, uh, Tuesday. We're going to have some travel Delta tomorrow. And then we're going to have banks on Thursday and Friday. We're going to see their impact of the j -Pow raising of those interest rates on their bottom line. What about the Treasury yields? The Treasury yields are, are more inverted today than before. The two-year Treasury yields are have dropped eight basis points to trade at 3.04, but still remain about the 10-year Treasury note, which fell uh, which fell about 3% or 10 basis points uh, at the time of this world recording. Why is that important for you? It's called the yield inversion curve. If the two-year bond yield, if the two-year note is having a higher yield than the 10-year note, then it's inverted. 
a bond inversion, a yield inversion curve, means we're more likely to go into recession. Yield inversion curve is one of those many benchmarks to look at across the board. Now, let's go to something that's very exciting for tonight on Evenings LA. It is your benefits, and could they be going up 10%? A longtime viewer sent me a beautiful message overnight. Oh, was it, um, was it Margaret? I can't, uh, I, I can't remember. Maybe, uh, I, I can't remember. But it was a wonderful message. I like it so much. Why? Because the viewer is in tune to the facts, wants to know the analysis, and wants to, and wants to analyze it themselves. The, the viewer sent me a press clipping of an article that said your benefits may go up 10%. I like it because the viewer is in tune to why it would likely go up and wants to look at the analysis. Let's go over what's happening. Social Security Chief Actuary Steve Goss looked at the May CPI number. Yeah, the number you're seeing this Wednesday. He looked at the May one. And he said, based upon that number, I'm projecting your benefits are going to go up 8% right at the time. Then the Social Security uh, nonprofit group said 8.6%. I said 9%. Why? Because I said gasoline's not going down. If gasoline goes higher, then the CPI goes higher, and then, then your benefits are going to go up. Well, where are we today? Where we are today is we are two days away from that June CPI read. Now, one of the things I recorded for afternoons today, I want to make sure I make it clear right now because I may not have made it clear, is Wednesday's number for CPI is not the July number. It's the June number. It's important. Why? Because to determine if your benefits are going up and how much, you have to look at the July CPI, not this Wednesday, but, the week from, but a month from now, the August CPI and the September CPI. In that CPI, if that number goes up, then your benefits will do really well. They'll go up nicely. Because in that CPI is a number called the CPI-W. The CPI-W is it determines your COLA, and that COLA determines how much your benefits go up. Goss is looking at the main number. He's saying 8%. Well, yeah, you know what I'm about to say. You know exactly what I'm about to say. If the July number is not released until next month, for this July CPI, and there's a possibility on July 21st, you see where I'm going, that Russia may turn off Nord Stream 1. Yeah, you see where this is going. If Russia does turn off that pipe Nord Stream 1 on July 21st, gasoline prices will spiral out of control to the roof. And that will spiral the July CPI, which is released in August, to the roof, which would then mean that Goss's projection on the May on the CPI for July and August, September has been undervalued. That your benefits will go up a lot more than 8%. So what do you gotta look for? You gotta look for that July, August, and September CPI. You gotta watch the gas. If you see gasoline going higher in July, August, September, your benefits are going up a lot more, a lot more. And remember, 8% is about $300 more per month. 9% could be a lot more. The article the viewer sent me was talking about 10%. Wow. I love it. I love when you do that. Continue to be like that. Continue to know the news. Continue to analyze the news. Continue to be on top of all those elements. Go into this video, become a member. Get these incredible checks across the board. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP, and stay with this video. It'll automatically take you to the noon broadcast on this channel. Meantime, jump over to LA2 and LA3, which has some preview videos airing today as well. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful day. And I'll see you today on afternoons at 3 o'clock and also evenings at LA at 5 o'clock plus our brand new hit show, Evenings Live, LA Live at 545. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, the toast is toast and the butter is butter, and I'll see you back on LA.